Welcome back to our series looking at idiom origins. In this video, you'll discover the idiom, the apple of my eye, its meaning, its first use along with other uses, and of course, its origin. If we're meeting for the first time, I'm Alistair and my passion is teaching. To know more about English, languages or accents, consider subscribing. Should you be looking to improve your English level, then contact me using the details in the description below. The apple of somebody's eye is defined as anyone or anything that someone loves the most and is extremely proud of, protecting at all costs. During the reign of the first king of England, Alfred the Great, the pupil at the centre of the eye was called the apple, as it was incorrectly thought to be an apple-shaped solid. Seeing as this delicate pupil of the eye is critical for vision, it is important that it is cherished no matter what the cost. Therefore, over time, the apple of my eye has been used to mean a much-loved person or thing. Getting back to Alfred the Great, the monarch used this expression in his Old English translation of Pope Gregory's the first Latin work, Cura Pastoralis, and this is deemed to be the first use of the idiom, the apple of my eye. Additionally, when the Bible was translated into English, William Tyndall used this idiom in a number of instances to refer to God's law in Proverbs chapter 7, verse 2. Keep my commands and live, and my law as the apple of your eye. To speak about the Lord's love for Israel in Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 10. He found him in a desert and in a wasteland, in a howling wilderness. He encircled him, he instructed him, and he kept him as the apple of his eye. And King David praying for God's safekeeping in Psalm chapter 17, verse 8. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. Go on, type in the comments, who or what is the apple of your eye, the person or thing that you love the most. Now to check out more idiom origins, watch one of these videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.